<laughs> yeah, yeah, we're ready. We're on. Hit record and audacity too. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, we're live. What if we were good at this? What if we were like, hey guys, thanks for checking out Dabby. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, uh, review it's us your on boys. iTunes. Yeah, what's up? It's your boys. You gotta do Dabby. The animate the automatic button. That's like yeah, ka ching, Ooh, float, wow. ding. Hit dude, that some dude, guy. Hit the fucking bell. I, I have this made me laugh. Hold on, this so we already recorded hard. the episode. You guys are gonna love this episode. We have Matt McCosker <laughs> in the studio. We talked about salt life. <laughs> some cool ideas about who did 9/11. Oh. Consent. It's your boys, Frazzle, Razzle, and Dazzle coming at you <laughs> anyway guys dig into the episode hope you enjoy it uh sorry it's pre-recorded this week this is how this this i was just watching a video on the way down here we'll listen to it and kind of peeping on the road this is how wait this are guy, you are you audio lying about watching stuff now it's no, extended just, beyond reading now that you I don't even watch, watch i was listening i mean i just want to admit, I was, I was watching an watching audio video. video i was kind of watching youtube on the highway i don't admit dude but. is this because of your uh your seizures you've been having the this video are, are you doing that now because of that? Is your yeah, brain? Are you, are you lying no, on watching no, stuff now? I, I didn't want to say that I kind of half watched a video while I was driving. Jeez, so I was saying I, I mostly listened to it, but I kind of would peep. There's a pathology here. <laughs> there could be. Yeah, it's that I'm fucking an idiot. No, I don't know if you've noticed, but we typically have our knives out. Um, oh my bad. I don't have them out, and the reason for that is because I heard that you have been having seizures. So Dude. I wanted each of us to have a spoon in case we need to keep you from swallowing your own tongue. <laughs> <laughs> the brain seizures. So tonight dude. we're breaking out spoons instead. <laughs> dude, I'm keeping this. My boy Roy Shockley, dude. Did you give me two spoons? No man with a knife can defeat me. <laughs> you think so? I guarantee it. Dude, look at this thing. What the fuck are you talking about? Really? I catch. Be, listen, so inconvenient. This, what are you gonna yeah, do? Buddy. Eat his cereal? <laughs> this is, dude. This is why helmets are shaped the way they are. Because it's not like it's gonna stop it, but it's gonna deflect. So every every stab attempt, dude. True. I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna, gonna redirect. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna make you stab Mike possibly. Oh, that <laughs> did you see the spark? That almost came towards me. See that? I've redirected it right there. You feel it? And that was just, that wasn't even a tenth of the power I could generate <laughs> with a spoon. And the, I mean, I'm not even used to these spoons. These aren't mine, but, you know, any, any port in a storm. I'm trying to bend yeah. it right now. <laughs> Good luck, dude. You think you're bending anything I'm holding ever? <laughs> I'm yeah. counterbending it. I'm straightening it with my mind. Be, I, was, I was wondering what was going on. He must be, damn, that's pretty strong. When I was like 10, we went to, we went out to breakfast one day. It was like, we hardly ever went out to eat. So anytime we went out, it was a fucking treat. And this fucking diner had these fucking little jukeboxes at each table. And uh my fifties? No, it was on Baltimore Pike. I think it might have been Springfield Diner. Okay. It was on Baltimore Pike in Springfield. And my dad gave me a bunch of quarters, so I put them all in and I played Spoon Man back to back to back to back. Nice. And then but you could crank it though. Yeah. And I cranked it and I couldn't turn it. Oh, back and it only down. played at your table. It's not like it went yeah. over the PA. No, 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 yeah. Yeah, but it was loud enough as to where everybody could hear it. So my dad's just trying to enjoy his meal, and Spoon Man was just blasting the whole time. It's so funny. They had that at the charcoal pit in Delaware. They had like oh, personal, that place is delicious, man. They had a little personal thing, pretty sick. Personal, uh, which we'll call it, karaoke thing or whatever. Did you, you ever do the ice cream challenge there? No, I don't think so. Pretty intense. Was it like the giant Sunday from? Uh, it's like the Joel Ziggy Piggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you ever do a food challenge before? That's the only one I've done. I wanted to approach you about one because on the Ocean City, New Jersey boardwalk, there's a place, I think it's called Three Brothers Pizza. There's a gigantic fucking pizza, and I forget what the requirements are. Like, if you eat it within 60 minutes, your you arms get, like, must be ten. this hairy or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like, yeah. you must be 5'2 or not Italian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, like, it's like they have time limits, and in conjunction with the time limits, it's like that's the amount of free pizzas you get if you can finish the entire one yourself. It's like fucking... Within an hour, you get 10 free pies. Within 40 minutes, you get 20 free pies. Yeah. I could eat how, infinite pizza. I, say, I, I feel it? the same way. How yeah, big is it? How big of a pie is Pretty it? Pretty fucking big. Um, <laughs> not impressed. <laughs> it was a I, I can tell exactly how it is just from your reaction. It's 28. 20, 28 incher? I, c I can't imagine 28 inches in my brain. I can't imagine anything more. Oh, I can imagine it anything more than right exactly now. penis length. I can't, I can't picture it. I can't just, conjure it in my brain. So that would be... That would be the diameter. Yeah, twenty eight inches. The, that, that would be, would be like the, uh, four four boners. Dude, that's how they came up. That's how they came up with the Pizza Hut bucket program. They wanted <laughs> kids to eat <laughs> boner pizzas. <laughs> It'd be What's like that. Is that, is that Dog, one English bird? It's bigger yeah. than that, dude. <laughs> twenty eight inch pizza. Matt, I'm telling you, it's so. bigger than that, man. It's fucking Here. huge. I'm what? gonna get a picture of this thing. I'm pretty sure it's Three Brothers Pizza in Ocean City, New Jersey. Okay. That's a foot. So is it two? It's almost three feet, right? I'm already confused. It's a 26 inch piece of hold on let me just let me extend my imaginary feet. wang down my leg so it's like from here to about here i can fuck 
Come on, dude. It's two. It's like slight. It's like two and a half feet. Oh, don't even slice it. All right, just roll it up. All right. How many square feet is that of pizza? I have no like idea, man. Half a square foot. Stop, dude. Yeah, you're looking for area <laughs> of a circle first yeah. of all, <laughs> which not, is not even it's not even a real number when you do the calculation for True. area of a circle. Talking there's about a pie. Yeah. Yeah. Pie's bullshit, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't, fuck, not, I don't fuck fucking pie at all. Please and do not I, get me started with I, pie. I did math and they throw pie and I'm like, <laughs> I'm not doing this. Fucking, <laughs> I give up. I'm definitely copying this answer. Are you the opposite of beautiful mind? Like you're like ugly mind where numbers don't add up or just <laughs> dancing around your head. Not at all. all the numbers are crashing into each other in front of his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude. <laughs> Fugly mind. Oh man. Dude, when I would do long division and I would like I would I just lose sight of like my my work is sloppy, dude. My mm-hmm. my work would never be neat or yeah. sloppy. So I would like I would doing my work I would lose like one number would fuck up and I'd be like, Can I get some points? And they're like, You got the wrong yeah. answer. I'm like, dude, that's a minor mistake. You can see where I was going with it. I was on to something. Dude. Sometimes I Math math style. should not be graded by final answers. If they're math, making you yeah. show your work, they yeah. should just be like, yep, I respect the work. Yeah, how dude, close did you get? Yeah. 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 I was going for something else. I fumbled like, at I, the very I, end. I didn't want to do the same old boring theories and theorems, dude. <laughs> Matt, what were you best at in school? Uh I was nasty at spelling. Mm. A nasty speller. Uh, you know, I finished took, second. Took the spelling bee. Yeah, sixth grade uh, spelling bee. Um, I came in second. I uh, lost to an Indian gentleman, so uh, I do not feel bad. Beaten by the best. Yep. It's like being beaten by a Jamaican in a sprint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, uh, you can be proud of that loss. That's pretty really good. I am, and I spe- I got my revenge about twenty years ago. He was on a, a bus in yeah. Delhi. <laughs> 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 I committed a gang rape against his entire family. <laughs> Called up every dude I knew, but no, I was looking at pages through the Delco Times, and I saw that he got a DUI. Did he really? Yeah, so. Suck it. Yeah. Raw heat. <laughs> Probably. Damn, how I do close? you spell breathalyzer, Alvin. dude? <laughs> <laughs> he got could a DUI? You, could you use yeah. it in a sentencing? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes, dude. Yes, dude. Why did they, why did they do a, uh, why did they write that a news story about that? Dude, I never understood why they do DUIs in the paper and hookers in the hookers, paper. Hookers, they get the hookers. Why? Get you good. And I'm not just saying that because those are the two things that I've <laughs> committed the most. <laughs> Mike's Did looking up from both? eating hooker pussy on the front page. <laughs> Did you ever get a DUI with a hooker? <laughs> the ultimate. They cancel each other out. <laughs> yeah, that's it's like a really local paper, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like. What the fuck? I think who's, that's the who's, point. That's the point of like super, this? super local yeah. papers are strictly there to just like keep you in line. Like mm-hmm. they'll yeah. they're just like tapping the glass on like the newsstand. Like look, I was they should do, do like a TMZ just like in the suburbs, like very localized. And just they do. Blast it's called uh, the Citizen App. True. It's basically True. it's TMZ yeah. for black teens. Doon doon doon. He was carrying a stick, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he was swinging a dog at his sister. TMZ. <laughs> Tim. Stop. What did you say? Sorry, it's a T N. Hilarious. As in Nancy. They had. Z. They had the. Uh, what do they have? They have the Good Neighbor app too. That's another thing. They're like somebody's dog one. shit on the street, just letting people know. Like one person always be like, "Cool loser," and like, "Fuck," and just people start to fight. Have you ever had to confront somebody for doing bad neighbor? Behavior. Uh, I know some stories that you yeah, did. I did. Yeah, that's I a did. sentinel. What were they getting into? Uh, Bad home breaks. There's the fireworks one. Fireworks. I charged. I charged out my door. Adult yeah. men. I found adult men. Same age as me. My peers. That's almost a relief. Finding yeah. out it's adult it, it men. Was, it was. And it you was, can actually like talk to them with like the overhanging threat of violence. Exactly. It, was, it wasn't like kids or anything. It was. Us these worst. were like just 30 year old dudes. And it was like I spazzed. Um, I would rather walk my in. neighbor. My neighbor had a guy over one time who was sassing my wife. So I told, it was an on site situation. Wait a second. I don't know about this one. Yeah, it was an on site. I, I declared on site. I told him, like, dude, don't have that guy at your house. And uh, he was there. And I was like, are you the person? You know, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, let's go fucking outside right now. How is he sassing sassed. your wife? It was a whole situation, man. They just got, there was like a stupid argument. And then she's like friends with like his girlfriend. His girlfriend hung at our house. And he was like, come over here, blah, blah, blah. And then he wasn't he wasn't there yet. He was calling, and then this guy came by. It, I don't know what the fuck happened, but they were all outside, and my wife was like, hey, come in my house. And this dude was there, and he was like, fuck you, and he's being a dickhead. Whoa. I think she also threatened to like let the dogs out on him. What? <laughs> Still, yeah, dude. Funny. Yeah. Still, dude. That's someone's wife. Yeah, you man. do not pop off at someone's wife. Can't, and those yeah, are someone's can't. dogs, too. Yeah, exactly. True. You can't. Yeah, so. 
Yeah. Dude, speaking of wives, should should I should I explain what happened the other night? If you want to, go ahead. I mean, I'm an open book, and I mean, if anything, it, it could be helpful for some people. Mm-hmm. But uh, dude, Sunday night we had to bail because I had a a situation. I saw speculation that there was a bonk, a bonk situation. <laughs> Fritz did not bonk yet again. We've canceled probably four podcasts for for Fritz hitting his head on stuff and going to the he hospital. Bonked. Fritz Fritz is a serial bonker. Damn. Not Fritz. This time it was my darling wife, Mary Jo. She bonk? Dude, she basically, she had a psychological bonk. And uh, well, I don't want to paint it that way. She's okay. But, dude, she's been, okay, so she's been having uh, panic attacks, right? Mm. And it's almost like a, a, a physical thing. She's been like, in, she could be in a great mood. Things are going good. They, like even like over a long period, things are going great, and then it would just be like, "Oh my god, what's what's going on?" And like to the point where you ever hear someone like describe a panic attack and, and they think it was a heart attack? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like yeah. that. Yeah, and she's been like seeing a doctor about it. She's been taking it seriously. We've been like, you know, on our shit, and uh, and she's like a trooper now. She's she's you know trying to keep up with me as far as like not letting shit like hold you down. So it happened to her while she was driving. With the kids, without me. Mm. And she was on her way to Knobles, which is like a three-hour drive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's an hour away from me, and she called me on the phone on uh, Sunday right before right before we were about to re- come down here to record. And she was like, uh, hey, I just had to pull over. just wanted to hear your voice. I'm having uh, one of those things again. And I'm like, oh, man. I Instantly, I'm like, dude, why don't I just come down? Why don't I just drive out there, come help you out? She's like, absolutely not, dude. You have to podcast, which mm. is humiliating. <laughs> humiliating. That's, that's admirable. That's admirable, dude. dude. She's like, <gasps> you have to buy yeah. <laughs> She's you, you, handing You're right. dog tags. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. It was That's so hard. sad Jeez, hearing her man. be brave on the phone like Damn. that. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. I'm, dude, I'm not one of these fucking I love my wife guys on the internet where you like post a picture at a diner and she's fat. You know what I mean? I'm not one you of those guys. You genuinely love your wife. I I'm so yeah, into my wife. I get it. So there is, on top of it being an inconvenience to me, I'm also desperately like, I need to, I need to spring into action, yeah. and she's refusing so that I can podcast. <laughs> I almost Damn, like I, she almost heard a gunshot on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she she tried to be brave about it. I spent like 15 minutes on the phone with her, and then she was like. You know, uh, I think it's going to pass. She started out like, I think it's going to pass. And then, like, as it didn't, it, like, started to compound itself, which yeah. happens. I've yeah, been there. Yeah, yeah. You guys have probably both yeah. been there. So it starts to, like, get worse on itself. And I can hear the. Here's why I'm still feeling okay. I can hear my kids in the background. And my uh, my 13 year old is, like, reading on her phone, like, what she should be doing. Mm-hmm. And she's totally cool. I'm like, dude, the whole time I have an awareness, like, this isn't bad. This this could be someone. And then it got so bad that I was like, okay, she, she might die in the car. Yeah. She's like, I thought she was going to like lose consciousness being the only adult in a car on the side of 476 with my kids. And that, as soon as that like that became a possibility, I was like, oh, fuck. Mm. Yeah. So then I got in the car and went and got her. But uh, I mean, just it, it was it was it was it was very scary for a very short uh, period of time. And then um, I got there. My daughter had called 911. There was a very nice state trooper that mm. was. I could hear him. I was on like the car Bluetooth the entire time. So it was an hour drive where yeah. she like almost can't talk anymore. My kids are like keeping it together. Sorry if it keeps, if I, it seems like I keep losing the story. It's just so no, much to recall. Clear, yeah. And um, so I'm, I can hear the cop talking. He was very nice to the kids the whole time. Uh, and I even like didn't say anything. Like he didn't know I was on the Bluetooth that I could hear him. So I was just like, all right, let's see what this dude's all yeah, about. Yeah, you're keeping it, yeah. Dude, that's what would you have done if you heard him say, so where's your supposed husband at? I would have, sw- I would have. Grab the wheel. My dad drove me out there. I would have grabbed the wheel and swerved it into his cruiser. It would have been over for him. Yeah, true. <laughs> Taking his gun. Yeah. Or just charge him. Like, fucking shoot. Me. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You won't. I would have. I would have attacked him and like been the example where it's like, see, this white guy yeah. didn't get shot, and yeah. I would just been smiling while they're handcuffing. <laughs> Clearly trying to commit, commit podcast by a cop. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I got out there. Uh, Mary Jo's in an ambulance when I got there. Met, Jesus, dude. met a Wiggery MT. What? Which was very cool. I feel like there's more than you'd think. <laughs> I'm telling you. Did he have a gold stethoscope? Dude. <laughs> they he, get, remember in high school? Yeah. When like, they always get jumped. Wiggers <laughs> <laughs> always get jumped, dude. It's always a go. We went to the mall and like three dudes jumped them. 
<laughs> they get vaccinated against a fight against three people. Like they have an immunity for for the rest of their lives. Matt, I can confirm in eighth grade, um, when I was at the height of my wiggerdom, I was jumped after a screening of Ladybugs with Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's like, yo, Mike DeMondo just got jumped, dude. And it's like it's every single time. There's like three dudes like push him and get kicked a couple dude, times. It's the universe trying to shake it out of you. I yeah. think so, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it always makes me. I laugh. think his wigger gear is all cursed. You ever get like an item no, in a video is, game yeah. where it's like, yeah, so, you do ten times damage. Yeah. It's like you also have a chance to damage yourself, dude. It's a hunky's paw. <laughs> dude, as soon as you buy, a f- <laughs> as soon as you shop at Lids, the receipt's like, dude, you're probably getting choked. <laughs> <laughs> be careful. Yeah, it's, it's so funny. I remember kids would get jumped, and then they'd have they'd always be embroiled in beefs. Like there's always a mm-hmm. fight on the horizon. It's like, mm-hmm. yo, this guy. Was you're on the shit. circuit. You're on the wigger circuit. You are. It's like, yeah. Yo, this guy was talking <laughs> shit, and you're like. Yeah, there's always so one like storming out of class, like pounding his own fist. It's yeah. like, what's wrong, Kenny? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, watch. I don't know what it's going to take, but someday up. Mike's going to sledgehammer through his floor and pull a tall tee out of like a, a safe. <laughs> <laughs> Just finish some sort of business. It'll probably be when my wife needs my help. <laughs> like she's so far away and I can't get to her and I'll need to like, like fucking who's the guy? He's going he's gonna, he's gonna to put on a long white T-shirt and like it's instantly going to post like a Roger Rabbit or a uh, Bugs Bunny <laughs> holding a gun like, God, forgive me. I'm about to be on my shit again. <laughs> Dude, as soon as I put on that white, pe- white tee, like a bus will appear out of the ether to take me wherever she is. Man. So I meet this uh, Wigger EMT. He's got a very like uh, serious about his job Latino sidekick. Nice. Shouldn't say sidekick. That might have been the main guy. I don't know. <laughs> Was he that just, what he was talking on? He just gave <laughs> off the... He seemed like the sidekick from uh, Ant-Man. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? What's yeah, that guy's yeah. name? Is his name... I don't know. Pena name. or something? I don't know. Come on. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I think it was. I think that's... You guys know what I'm talking about. I know the guy, but... Yeah, I don't know that guy. Yeah, I don't know the, 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 the cool Mexican guy from all the movies. Gotcha. So he's John like... Gizama? No. <laughs> that was what my brain thought as well. That's absolutely not it. Danny not Danny Trejo. He's sidekick, sidekick, dude. dude Come yeah. on, man. <laughs> He doesn't have I hope together. he doesn't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you thinking? Who's, who's what the, the fuck's that like? guy's name? Chat's going to get it. Michael Pena. Thank you, Joe Fiscaro. Michael Pena? Uh, Joe Fiscaro actually texted me. This is, episode's pre-recorded. This is not live. <laughs> That's not in the live chat. <laughs> so you were right. It was Pena. Yeah, it was Michael Pena. Yeah. So there's a Michael Pena and there's a, you know, a Michael Rappaport. Nice. And... Uh, <laughs> Oh, dude, you think with uh, Puerto Rican EMTs, they have the snake over the end instead of that apostrophe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. Go, uh... <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, so there, he said a couple of very funny things. And, like, I obviously I'm, like, running on the side of the highway to get into an ambulance. So I'm, mm-hmm. like, kind of, like, catching up to the situation. And uh, he, I get into the ambulance. The, the, Michael Pena leads me into the ambulance and the wigger dude's talking to Mary Jo and she's sitting in a, on a gurney stretcher gurney. Yeah. Hospital, the ambulance bed thing. Yeah. And she's like hysterical Hmm. beside herself. And I know like, at least I see that she's like convulsing so that she's alive. I'm like, all right, I can calm down a little bit. And, uh, he starts talking to me about her. Like she's not there. Like, Jesus. Uh, well, I mean the way like a doctor would, if you showed up, Mm-hmm. except if doctors went to school for like six weeks and they could take a day off every week and yeah. they only needed a GED on top of that. So uh, the first thing that was very funny was like uh, he he said that he was going to keep it 100. I was keep it, I'm just keeping what? it 100. But yeah, he's like, I'm just going to keep it 100. Like <laughs> we could take you to a hospital. Look, I'm just keeping it 100 with you. We could take you to a hospital, but we'd basically just be like an Uber. Like I, all the tests are good. Oxygen levels are good. Your pulse is, you know, it's going up when you get it. Mm-hmm. And then at this point he turns to me and he's like, she keeps getting really uh, excited and she's having a hard time controlling her breathing. And she's like, I guess maybe she wasn't even paying attention to him. But I'm just like, at one point I was like, okay, well I'm going to stop saying she, like you're not here. Uh-huh. And that kind of like made her like, ah. and uh, he's like, yeah. So like, look for real. Uh, look, if I'm if I'm your friend, if I'm your boy, I'm saying maybe go home, see if it gets worse. If it gets worse, go to the hospital. I'm just I'd I'd want, I'd want someone to break it to me like that. Damn, this guy rules. So then he's saying like, if if she can't control her breathing, it's going to get worse and it's going to come back. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I, I, I'm sweaty, my hair's fucked up, I look exactly like I do all the time. <laughs> and I was like, uh, are you telling me there's a chance that she's just being a dumb bitch? <laughs> 
She stood up like the Undertaker. <laughs> she starts. She starts like shoulders moving, laughing, and at, for like a second, neither of them know how to take it, and then they lose it. Did he they, run out the back of the ambulance? Oh my god! <laughs> he he thought he started swinging his chain around his neck and catching it out of your hand, like you know, you know, wiggers yeah. like tetherball their necklace. <laughs> I was like, I was like, break it, to, dude. Give it to me straight. Is is my wife being a dumb bitch right now? <laughs> so then I, uh, I just kept doing that, trying to make her feel better. And eventually, dude, she kind of like lightened up. We got in the car and went home. And as we were walking back to the car, the uh, Wigger EMT is like, they, they're walking back to the car with us to like, you know, just say goodbye and see if she's okay. And uh, he's like, hey, you're funny, man. I was like, Aww. I was like, come on, dude, pshaw, dude. Damn, stop, dude. Pshaw, dude. Wow, you, you kept it hundred with you, you kept it hundred with him. Yeah, yeah. dude, it's a two way street. Yeah, dude, it's a two hundred ninety nine point yeah. nine. It's dude. a two hundred way street. <laughs> <laughs> dude, do you think uh, Wigger CPR when they do it on another dude? They say no homo. Yeah, no, the two yeah, no homo. Rats. Pause. <laughs> Deadly pause. Every three pumps, a pause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then. uh I, I did take her to a hospital. She mm -hmm. got fucked. She was she got worse on the way home. I took her to Nazareth Hospital in Philadelphia, oh, Pennsylvania. Dang. Dude, where is it? I, it's where Jesus is from. It's like four minutes from my house. Okay, King of the Jews, baby. She didn't want to be far from the kid. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want to uh, birthplace of nine eleven. She <laughs> she didn't want to be away far away from the kids. So we dropped the kids off the house, yeah. and then I took her to the hospital. Dude, I I've been uninsured most of my life. Mm -hmm. I've been poor most of the time that I wasn't short. I've I've seen I've seen what hospitals can be like, dude. Mm -hmm. yeah, this was as fuck, dude. this was like this looked like where they kept the underground people in us. <laughs> there was fucking <laughs> bugs everywhere. What? Yeah, there was bizarro Mike Rainey's all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Can you elaborate on that? There was I'm, I'm not kidding. I saw ten dudes that you should have ended up being. Ah, and. uh I'm saying that as a compliment because you did. Thank you. Yeah. I just first of all, I just ran into your neighbor at Wawa. I think it's I, I'm I'm okay in saying this. Okay. He reached over the uh, ca the he reached over the cash register to grab a plastic bag and weirded out the entire. This just happened before I got here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. What do you do? He, he helped himself? some some. Uh, he do you have a neighbor that's like very fucked up on opioids? Probably. <laughs> uh, is did he have a cane? I don't know, but he looked fucked up enough for Probably, a cane. Yeah. Yeah. There's two dudes on the street who could. Yeah, that yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's he on the fucking, third. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he reached and made his own bag. Yeah, he reached over and grabbed a plastic Power bag, move. and the cashier turned around. The guy was like, oh, "I'm just helping you out, man. You look like you're having a tough time. Like I'll get my own bag." Dude, that Wawa like, is slipping though. I, on a crazy note, I took Mike to my son there to get a fucking um, a bagel tonight with mixed berry cream cheese. Nice. They were taking so fucking long, and the guy was looking at me and laughing. I was assuming, like, at first I was like, what the fuck is this guy laughing at? But I had my dad meat tank top shirt on, so I was like, all right, he's probably laughing at the words dad meat. But then it was taking him so fucking long, and for a split second, I thought, maybe I should just go back there and get this fucking bag on and leave. Whoa. It, they're that fucked up. But Dude, that's not you. Yeah. I, I don't know. It, I, it can See? be me. What, to go snag the bag? We don't know that, dude. We know to that that's inside of you, and we know that you resist that urge every day, and that's why we love you. Sometimes, though, you sometimes Bro. in life you just got to go get your bagels. Dude, God, forg forget God forgive me. I'm about to be on my shit again. Okay. I know what you're saying, dude. I know, I, just, I know that deep down you're just Bugs Bunny in a Scarface meme. <laughs> <laughs> I know that that's <laughs> close to your nucleus. <laughs> it's Bugs Bunny in a Scarface poster, bro. <laughs> Anyway, got, dude, dude, fuck frontline workers, fuck nurses. <laughs> I've never, honestly, okay, this could be a Philadelphia thing. I've never met a nurse that didn't look like she had Down syndrome <laughs> and didn't act like a nasty <laughs> bitch. Every, every person I encountered in this hospital All my was a fucking <laughs> freak show. I'm related. I'm, dude, I obviously, I dude, this is hyperbole. I know, I know, I know. I'm related. To some, this is the other thing. They Everyone. can never take a joke. If you make a joke about a nurse, it's like, uh, um, well, actually, wow, uh, good to know you think that when I'm saving your life. I In between know. TikToks. Yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah it's, yeah, it's tough. That's what happens when you paint someone with, like dressed up like an Avenger. And not for nothing. Like Tim, don't you think all these nurse TikToks should actually be called sick talks? Yeah, actually, that'd be that'd be a pretty good. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've been pretty anti Scan. like nurse hero from from day one. It's pretty brutal, man. Kinda yeah, stinks. I, it's crazy. They all. I, it's. I mean, just what a fucking bloated profession. Of just <laughs> nothings. If you're a nurse, they're, kill yourself. <laughs> they're like the girl version of cops. 
They that's are. And they're mostly point. married cop cops. Yeah. Yeah. They, they do. They marry cops constantly. Nurses and cops are just They come like, in mm-hmm. pairs. Yeah. yeah. They do. They just have to find each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Huge rates of infidelity in both, too. Yeah. True. So this fucking pig. <laughs> well, the cops are working around like... It's, it's true. Cops are either cheaters or beaters. Wow. And nurses are just cheaters or cheaters. Dude. Nurses mm-hmm. do the opposite. They cheat and lie about getting hit. <laughs> True. It's all just Chinese yeah. propaganda, too. <laughs> it's crazy how they don't want no scrubs, but they're wearing them. You know? True. Kind of also, fucked up. too, it's like they're they're around like one of women. They're around like one of like people's top sexual fantasies all day. They're around doctors. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know where the sexy nurse fantasy comes from. Uh, they I, Irish just bottom of the barrel Irish genetics. <laughs> They all have like very shiny, crunchy hair. We're gonna, we're gonna have to move this podcast to Compound Media. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it like it is. The only podcast this, about oh fucking nurses. God. I was at a fucking hospital. And they're being mean as so. hell. And they were just rotten to the core. The COVID shit really fucking pumped them up a little bit. They got they're a little bit too big for their bridges. They got the right national now. spotlight, and they yeah went yeah. through their heads for sure. Yeah, COVID was their nine eleven. Yeah, <laughs> they milked it. Mm-hmm. They milked it for all. As soon as you hit them with that one percent. Right, yeah. they're like, uh, the hospitals are crowded. It's like 1% of death rate. Well, so, uh, Ten here, times higher countries where obesity is uh, higher. So, all right, so the first lady we ran into was like the, the you give your ID and then they tell you to wait and then you get, you know, a triage nurse will come yeah, out. Yeah, the lady, yeah. So we meet her. It's not, she's not the worst person there. However, the people in front of us was a black couple who were scratching themselves and talking about how they had just gotten bed bugs in Atlantic City. <laughs> Damn. There's <laughs> bugs all over this waiting room. Jesus. Didn't matter that they were a black couple, by the way. I was just painting a more complete picture. picture. That's all. Dude, that would be an awesome computer game. Like, you got to get away from the black couple that's got bed bugs and get different things around the waiting room. Atlantic City bed bugs, too. Oh, man. Yeah. So they give give Bruce Springsteen too much credit, (laughs) that kind of thing. That also sounds like a great slur. (laughs) Atlantic City bed bugs? Did they make you wait for a long time? Uh, We left without seeing a doctor. So she went back to get triaged first. There was a, uh, I don't know if it was a nurse or a doctor, but he like took her into a room that I couldn't see into. And I was like, uh, she was like, can he please stay with me? She's still like shaking and crying. She's like, can he please stay with me? He's like, no, absolutely not. So he takes her into the room. She comes back in like 30 seconds. I'm like, what happened? She was like, I don't know. He just told me to go. He just told me to leave. What? Doesn't, doesn't walk her back out. He just tells her to go back to the waiting room. Bizarre nonsense. It makes no sense whatsoever. Then they, uh, another a nurse lady takes her into a different room. There's a window into it, but I still want to go in with her. She says, uh, you can't go in. She's going to be right back out anyway. And I'm just all right, I'm like, all right. So I post up in front of this window. And at this point, I'm like, one of these people is going to deny me. And my reaction is going to get me arrested. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm just trying to play it cool as long as I can until like I think that there's like a real problem. Did you consider lying and saying that you both have Atlantic City bed bugs just so you <laughs> can stay together? Yeah, was- yeah. Did they break that couple up? Uh, no, they got to stay together. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Why did you know to ask that? I was just curious. It seemed like they probably took them both then. Whoa. They weren't there for the bed bugs, I don't think. Maybe they were. <laughs> I don't know. I hadn't thought of that. It's kind of fucked up. So she, all right, so she's in the second room. I'm looking through a window. She's sitting in like the chair where they take like your temperature and your blood pressure and shit like that. And she's like hysterical. She's still hysterical. And this entire interaction, which first of all, she was not right back out. This was like 10, 15 minutes. The lady doesn't even look at her once. Mm-hmm. Never looks directly at her as she's like inconsolable. Yeah, it stinks. So then uh, eventually she gets back out to me. And after a while, like she uh, honestly just being around me fixed her. Mo- that was what <laughs> fixed her the most. Um, yeah, pretty much. And then we were there. We saw just too many bugs. I started to just like feel itchy everywhere. Mm-hmm. And I left it up to her. But yeah, we left. We never saw a fucking Smart move. Here. And if they send us a bill for anything, I'll probably just not do anything about it until they add a bunch of fees to it and then pay that. I wanted to say, like, I'm not fucking paying it, dude, Mm -hmm. but who the the fuck knows what I'm liable to do? Dude, if you take it to court, just mention that you had the Wigger EMT. It'll get tossed right out. He's my he's my dude, character witness. Judge Kavanaugh will piss on that docket. Yeah, exactly. If you, if you call them, they'll settle with you. If you're like, yo, you guys didn't do anything. You're rude. I'm not paying I, I guarantee this hospital does not have working phones. <laughs> if you want to call this hospital, you have to you have to fucking call some fat woman's pager. <laughs> Yeah, that sucks, man. When ho- I, I split my finger open one time. I didn't have insurance, and they were like, it took me 
two and a half hours to be seen. And they were letting people. One guy walked in. He's like, I had too many diet pills. And they were like, oh, come on right back. <laughs> My finger was like dripping blood. I was like lightheaded. And I like, I, it wasn't until I called Brittany. He was and like, was wow, like, you must have taken a lot of diet pills. Let me see that finger. <laughs> Dude, it was, it was great. They, it, it actually, I called Brittany because I was like, she's like, did they see you yet? And I was like, no. She's like, fuck that. I'm coming down there. Made an absolute scene. Yeah. And I was seen in like two seconds. Ooh. Made a total, like an absolute So I should have, I should have ignored my instincts and wigged out. Yeah. Pardon. She's a pun. <laughs> I didn't mean, <laughs> I mean go to EMT school. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, she just made an absolute scene, freaked out, and they were like, all right, fine. And then I, I never paid, but. <laughs> nothing, nothing beats having your spouse freak out on your behalf. Damn nice. it. Come on, man. There's, I'm full of regret now. No, you're good. You're I thought I nailed girl. it. She's you, a girl. Here's the deal. You could either go one, one of two ways can have the same result. A spouse freaking out on your behalf or doing what you did and just providing the, the fucking, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not solace, but like, I guess come. solace. Yeah, so providing the come that your wife needs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, also too, you're a dude. Like, girls have such a longer, they get so much more room to like Leeway. fucking spaz. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So... But it was cool. She knew the terminology. She's like, where is the ER manager? Like, she was hitting with all these terms, and they were like, fuck. So they had a, my cut dried, and they had to break it back over. Oh, my God. Worst. It. Yeah, it was crazy. So I didn't pay. Okay, dude. They you were should. like, it'll be a 1000 bucks, And I was like, okay. <laughs> I thought about it. I was going to pay. I was like, I Make it too. It. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I was like, might as well tack something on that for yourself. Man. Well, <laughs> sorry, for, sorry for telling a 30-minute story. I should save that for the Patreon, but... Uh, oh, man. I don't know. Oh, people asked. People asked and reached out and said, hope everything's okay. Yeah. Everything is okay. And uh, Panic attacks are a tricky, they're a tricky thing. Yeah, you yeah, have I'd... to be able to... Like, it's paradoxical. You have to accept them, but it, like, you also feel like you're dying. It's crazy. So you have to be okay with dying, basically. And then they start to let I think that's why I'm invulnerable now. I'll be more okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, I mean, you could do enough mushrooms that, like, the panic attack is just ineffective for the rest of your life. Yeah, or they, it's they a vaccine. The what? It's a vaccine for panic attacks. I would say. I mean, the, the term for vaccine is pretty broad now. They include, like, gene therapy and stuff. It's not anymore. <laughs> it's a meaningless term. Now, do, you, do you think it's a, um, a plan by big medicine to deploy more wigger EMTs to kind of dissuade people from They're calling? not smart enough. They're nah, not smart doctors enough. Doctors hate those yeah. guys, dude. These are the guys doctors hate. Yeah, exactly. They keep it a hundred, dude. The yeah. far, big farmer doesn't want people keeping it. That's, that's the biggest threat to Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> is some some dude with pointed sideburns keeping it one hundred with you, dude? Big farmer Especially is actually his SoundCloud name. <laughs> I don't know how he got into a position around pills too. Oh, that's dude. Like, that is the the wigger fucking poster on the wall hiding the tunnel that you're carving out of your cell. Oh man! Yeah, he's the cool, doctors, though. dude. I think six weeks is the perfect amount of time to go to learn something. How long's police academy? Six weeks? No, nah, man, it's like a year. You can cram. That's, That's why nine cops nine months. That's why cops stink. It's uh, they should cut you. They should send you to exactly six weeks of police school. Yep. Because anything longer than six months, you end up indoctrinated. True. Mm. So that's cool. why EMTs are probably the realest dudes on any crime scene at any accident. They're the dudes you got to hang with. Yeah. Well, if, if, Beyond I know, that, you kind of get too full of it. If you mix up paramedics with EMTs, they get paramedics get pissed off. Like I'm not a fucking EMT, dude. I'm a paramedic. They probably go to seven weeks of school. <laughs> <laughs> Every two weeks you get a letter. Yeah. It's like I'm an E right now, so. <laughs> yeah, fuck with EMTs hard, dude. Yeah, we do. We celebrate it. This is an EMT positive podcast. I would say, so. dude, we EMTs should we should become nurses. EMTs this summer. Yeah, that'd be tough. Wouldn't that be cool? Just fucking heckling fat nurses getting out of their <laughs> getting out of their eyelash uh, <laughs> headlight cars. <laughs> EMTs probably smash fat nurses, dude. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. They probably get you know. Oh, is that how like uh, was it like dishwashers always fuck the hostess at a restaurant? Do they? <laughs> EMTs <laughs> always fuck. That. I figured it's the not owner, dishwasher. I figured, whatever I scumbag the, at, at uh, restaurants always fuck the hostess. Dude. Well, there's a lot of them, but I would figure <laughs> the owner would fuck the hostesses. No, no, the, really? Yeah, no. The, the owner has to keep it together and and to pay for his high. Uh, ticket prostitutes. <laughs> True. I'll ask my wife who she gets fucked by when she gets it. <laughs> she host this? She was. Dude, Damn. oh man, I still feel bad about this, but her very first like real job happened. Her first day was I wasn't home yet. I was still on a bender. Nice. So her very first day as an adult having a job, I was MIA on a coke bender. I think that's probably like. 
holding down the turbo button for a hostess. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's unlimited boost. Yeah, that's, that's Game Shark for hostesses. <laughs> Your significant other being out on a fucking coke bender. Oh sure. They they probably tested her for performance and answers at work. <laughs> the umpires called her over. <laughs> <laughs> Take off your hat. <laughs> yeah, it's like the Avatar. They're like, dude, this is only set every seven years. Dude, someone like this. Yeah, if you want to <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> yeah, for any of you out, out there listening, if you want to propel your spouse to a new career, go on an all weekend coke bender. See what happens to her. It's not a bad idea. She'll actually. figure it out. Yeah, she'll start to get the juices flowing. Like, I mm. might need to fucking hold this together by myself. Fucking get some certificates. I that, that was I was playing the long game. Yeah. Now look you at did me. it for her. Yeah. You wanted her to follow her dreams. I did. Be tight. That'd be a great reverse intervention where they're like, Mike, we have to talk. You're like, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> I'm strung out so that yeah. you can be the best hostess in the world. <laughs> After you get home from work, we'll talk. True. <laughs> we got we got cucked this weekend. Oh, God. Stoner moms. Stoner, yeah, what? stoner moms went away for a little uh, like massage thing. Which and I mean, I, w- I went. I saw the videos. I went through my wife's phone immediately afterwards. Oh my god! Dude, don't <laughs> I saw the videos. We got cocked. They had a, a oh, one man. dude, three woman, three something. They just cocked oh all of us. Dude. What? Well, did they at least do a dancing bear? Initially, yeah. Yeah. Took it off. Yeah. If they do, if they do C C F N M, that's cool. Nice. I think as long as it's it a C F N M situation. We got cocked by like a man of. He was like four different races. It was like a mythical creature. Oh. It was like man. a light skinned black guy with blue eyes and like straight Asian hair. That's inevitable. Oh, and they all got naked. That's the together. devil's makeup. Our it's wives cunt. all got naked together. What? Isn't that fucked up? Oh, I mean, not her. fucked up. It's fucked up that I can't do that with my boys. Well, Brittany, I think, pressured them into it. Did she? Brittany's a big nudist. She's the mastermind. She's always pressuring people. And like, she'll, <laughs> she'll get on the phone with her mom on FaceTime, like, take it, like, Maya's in the bathtub, and Brittany will just bust into frame butt naked. And mom's like, <laughs> oh, come on. She's like, come on, get over it, mom. <laughs> that reminds me, Matt, do you mind taking your pants off? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Leave the tank top on, though. True. Yeah, we dude. gotta talk about this inseam, dude. Way too long. This one? I, yeah, I think you're. I think you're leaving a lot of power on the table by by touching I'm your st- knees. I'm still on long. I have some shorter shorts. There should be no fabric ever touching True. your knees. True. I still have long shorts, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start busting them up, man. I'm I'm into um, I have like my running shorts now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, dude, I think it, it's a I matter of public with, record. I agree with you. I agree. With matter you. of public record, I was on the short inseam before anybody, and now it's like a huge internet sensation. I think I might switch. I might go briefs. I, shorter? Yeah. I got in. No one can stop you. In February. Yeah. I got in last summer, if we're being honest. These are old. These are old shorts. The shorts I buy now are running shorts from Target, and they're all. Also covered 18. in spackle. <laughs> <laughs> Some buying pre spackled. Some are. <laughs> but yeah, I can't believe we got fucking triple cocked, dude. Yeah. Well, good, good happened. They had a good weekend, dude. Come on, man. Yeah. No, I was they happy. deserved it. I was happy. It's no, they, they got like massages. We, they didn't get, we didn't get cocked, but. I don't think so, at least. But they, um, yeah, they got they went like a steam room and just did they all get naked? They all got naked. Nice. She said that Mary Jo said that the the smoke, the fog, the steam was so thick that you couldn't see each other. But I don't believe that for a second. Is that what triggered this event? The oh, fog? good, good. Do you think that she just her heart rate never came down from being naked with it, her friends? It could have been. It's possible. We we should all do it together and see if any of us. Dude, I've been saying, man, I'm gonna play. I'm getting I'm getting a cabin for all my boys to come beat off and play video games for a weekend. Long <laughs> Dude, weekend. Dude, I just actually I had an idea the other day. Remember Mystery Science Theater? Mm-hmm. Every day. Okay, so it's that, but it's dudes and just the the silhouettes of dudes like laughing, watching a movie, but they're also beating off in a movie theater. <laughs> wow. So you would be like joking around, but then after someone like oh, You're jerking around too, man. Like, people would come. Mystery <laughs> Science Theater. <laughs> yeah, three yeah. <laughs> 69,000. Dude, a podcast, people could do it. It's, it's dark, and you're talking, but everyone's also fapping. You don't okay, see each other. I would do that with you. It would just be for, like, the... It'd be funny hearing people, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah dude, such a funny bit. I, I would probably be dying if I heard that, dude. <laughs> dude, if we were doing that, how, fun, how cool of a bit or would you that record, be? Or you record a bunch of them, and then, like, afterwards, release the fact, like, oh, we were also fapping the entire... You have to, like, quietly come. <laughs> or you do it and you, you figure out you do never it tell a, anybody just yeah, you don't tell anyone <laughs> when people start being like are they fucking fapping <laughs> no <laughs> be like the D'Angelo video oh, <laughs> it, 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 the man. camera dude right up here and keep that shoulder still dude it'd be like fucking military school dude I used to watch that video on repeat and I had no idea why I would do it <laughs> you knew 
<laughs> uh, yeah, it was just like, I, I don't know why, but I need to see this right now. No idea? True. Well, I, now I, I do I have watched, an idea. I think I watch it a lot, too. Yeah. It's hard. To, try not watching that when it's on. I mean, dude, his fucking Dick V is <sighs> phenomenal in that thing. The fucking. It's an all-timer. That's yeah. all-time Dick V. Yeah. Dude, we celebrate D'Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> we do. This is a very D'Angelo positive broadcast. <laughs> we do. But yeah, dude, I was saying that'd be tight. Yeah. Just, dude's just quietly beating off. And like still having fun. You know, wouldn't yeah. it's not a sexual yeah. thing. You'd be like having fun. We're in the mountains. Dude. Yeah, like laughing about the movie and someone just be like Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the rule, like once you pop you gotta leave. True. Until the next yeah, if you can make it through each that session, you get to stay to the you next one. You don't have one. to make it competitive. I think the competition is what gets, Dude, gets you're in gonna, the way. You're going to so be ankle know. deep in cum if you don't make this competitive and people have to leave. <laughs> yeah. The cum was so thick, you couldn't even see each other. All right, well, you're, you're putting down a security <laughs> deposit, pal. I think now you're allowed to beat off in movie theaters. Yeah. Post-COVID, I think they're like, yeah, fuck, <laughs> beat off, and just come in, just come back. Yeah, try it with a pizza. If they let yeah. you get in with that, then you can fucking take it out and go to town. Yeah. Did you ever get caught bringing in snacks? No. I don't think they give a fuck. Yeah, you yeah, yeah have you so ever either. been told what to do by a retarded teenager? <laughs> One time I, I, I Kramered and spilled hot coffee on the head of my penis. I brought a, I brought a full hot coffee into a... Uh, <laughs> Did you try the coffee cup trick? And I burnt my fucking... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How long was your penis burnt for? Uh, Probably five soft. They had a staple oh, of pink uh, cadaver to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was tough to come back from. Yeah, penis oh, burn. man. A full penis burn. It's like, do you ever shave your balls or like trim your balls and cut your balls? It never stops bleeding. Matt, yeah. this sounds sounds like the perfect opportunity to thank our sponsor, Manscaped. If you go to manscaped.com, check out promo code FATBIRD, you will never have that problem that Matt just spoke of. Have your balls bleed for three days? Do they bleed never. forever, dude. Matt, I go at my fucking balls with this lawnmower 3.0 like it cheated on me. Really? I have yeah, you're ne- holding it like a bayonet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I go at my penis like it's a kraut yeah. in a foxhole. If you use this thing to shave your bird and balls... You could you could go at it with palsy and it would never cause a nick on your on what? your area. Yep. So go That's to manscaped.com, use our promo code which is fatbird. Yep. You get 20% off. I'll order one. And free shipping. Uh, you know, I'm going to buy you one. Dude, oh, you wow. I'm going to buy you one and when we do our weekend getaway where we beat off and watch movies together. Nice. And film. I, I'm going to take gonna so be so yeah. 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 Yeah, it's going to be sponsored by Manscaped. I'm going to yeah. glance over, dude, and I'm going to be shaved. You'll be fucking. Yeah. It's going to be a team team dad meet cum journal brought to you by Manscaped. <laughs> We're going to look so big. We're going to be shaved. We're going to look so big. We're going to be hanging, just celebrating each other. We're going to be applauding each other's meat. We got to do this in August. We should do a drive in. So I heat. would do that. Get that yeah. August heat. Dude, that'd be so fun. Dude, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to yeah. buy They actually have a lawnmower 4.0 now. What? That's what I want to use the shave mat with. How Damn. do you feel about a landing strip? I was actually just envisioning one. It's just a light straight <laughs> lightsaber. <laughs> so how, yeah, can I get like a buzz, or do you got to go all or nothing? I'll give you whatever you want. Give them a fade. They do give you an attachment, or you can go bare without I'm the get attachment. Icicles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get zigzag lines, dude. Whatever you want, yeah. The lawnmower will take care of, dude. And I only got the 3.0. I saw that they recently came out with the 4.0, dude. It's got a fucking flashlight on it too. What? Yep. For your butt. Whatever you feel like shaving. <laughs> For your butthole. You could shine it wherever. Damn. I yeah. I use Britney's. Thing in the shower, she's got one. Every now and again, I how's it work? Catch my balls and fucking cut them. Matt, it's impossible to catch your balls with this thing. I it's swear crazy. by this fucking. Did you ever cut your balls when you're shaving them? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's they a nightmare. Bleed forever. You, my balls look like a fucking. It looks like you remember Mad Balls. How fucked up Mad Balls would be. You remember them when you were balls. a kid? It was like these fucked up like balls that you would get that had fucked up faces and all yeah, kinds yeah, of shit about, yeah. coming out of them. Like my ball bag looked like a fucking mad ball before I got my landscape manscape shit. I remember Damn. blurp balls. Is that what you're talking about? I blurp? don't know, but mad I balls. Blurp balls? No, I, I, I kind of I know I kind of remember what you're talking about. Like real fucked up faces. They had like real yeah like yeah like real gnarly like yeah. looks on them. Do they do they shoot a thing out of like the mouth? No, they just look fucked up and you can throw them. No. Oh. I think blurt balls are probably an improvement. If they existed and I'm not imagining them, mm-hmm. if this isn't a concussion symptom, <laughs> I think blurt balls might have been cooler. All right. Well, you can cure your blurt balls by going to manscaped.com and <laughs> use a promo code FATBIRD. Yeah, that's all right if we got cucked, though. I told, I told Matt, my mail, the mail lady, first of all, I was... Yeah, you're telling me about that. Damn, dude. Dude, I, why are there so many hot male ladies right this, now? What, a, what an eventful week we had leading up to this. True. Matt came over, because during Stoner Mom's weekend, Matt came over with uh, baby Maya, and we were just chilling. And uh, to get the yard ready, I 
I, or I was just mowing the lawn that morning, but I always mow my lawn in a bathing suit with my shirt off. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I'm trying to get as much sun on my body as possible. Obviously, mm-hmm. that's what 2021 is about. Yeah, sun in the body as much Vitamin as possible. D. Yeah, I'm, I saw, I'm dude, all over it. I've said it. I've already sun your meat. Yep. I want I want sun kissed meat, uh, coast to coast. Feels good. Do you ever put the sun on your bird? I just did it. We were on a, a nature trail uh, near Doylestown, <laughs> and uh, I had to pee real quick, and I ran out. I ran out to the trail with my meat out just to get a little bit of sun on it. I used to do it while I was driving. <laughs> it's, it's pretty nice. <laughs> when you had a motorcycle? No. Nah. <laughs> I remember I had like some, I had what I thought was a fungal infection and I would just sun my bird. Cook it off. Yeah. Cook it off. It felt good. It felt <laughs> right. Actually. I'm telling you, it feels real good. You're driving just pop it out and just fucking, if you see, you know, pass a truck, it's like, what's the first of all, what's he going to do? Second of <laughs> all, pull you see, if you got SUV, you just pop it back in. <laughs> Jesus done. Christ. Hell yeah. I'm telling you, drive with your bird out. It's nice. Wow. It, it feels good. I never it, thought about just having it out while driving. Yeah, man. Why not? I mean, everyone's had to pee while driving. Yeah. You can have it, dude. No. That's why I associate with stress. What? Having like, your bird out in the yeah, car? Yeah, taking your bird out while you're driving, I associate with, with trying to piss into something. True. And, no, then, just, and then, like, cut it off as it fills up. Just sun it like a frog. Yeah. Just let it just <laughs> hang. And just sun out while you're driving and, like, kind of maneuver Come towards the sun. wise. <laughs> Feels good. Our birds should be getting more, way more sun yep. than they're getting. Way yeah, more sun. I think that makes them damn droop, true. too. Oh, probably. I mean, you sun them up. Dude, there's people shit. watching driving right now. Peachy, take your bird out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Put that thing out. Smack your meat on your phone and make that be the message you send in the chat. Yeah, smack your meat on that motherfucking like button. <laughs> Dude. Also, I feel like if you're going on the trails, you could just run naked on the trails. I don't think anyone would say anything. It's like, good luck catching you. <laughs> <laughs> you're naked. Just Beaming, the person would be so shocked. Yeah, they would assume that it's like okay to do it. I think so. If you saw someone with like good running form passing you on a trail, <laughs> you'd be like, oh, you're, I guess you're allowed to do that. Just tell me you got so. poison ivy psychosis. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could do it. Yeah, I think they would just be like, I told you, I saw a dude in full Native American, like headdress, paint up, everything. And he was a Native American dude. I saw him in the Wissahickon one time, just walking around. Naked? It was like the Jim Morrison hallucination yeah. from the doors. <laughs> no, he wasn't naked, but he was wearing like... You know, oh, he's just all dressed up. Skimpy, slutty ass. I wonder if he was just like trying it out for like, you know, those field trip Native American no, places. Dude, there was a fucking thing. There's a teepee of sticks and there was a little fireplace. And I, I would see the teepee of sticks in the fireplace and was like, the fuck is this? And one day I saw a dude in full, the full get up. Full chief get up. And Damn. I was like... I was only like 50 feet from him. I was awed. I was like, what the fuck? That's pretty cool. You could just show up to the parks and just be Indian. Yeah. I think I think in that case it's fair to say he, he has no reservation. <laughs> <laughs> Zoinks, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the be only cool. dude I'd ever vote for would be a Native American <laughs> or Black conservative. They're the only people I respect as authority. You know how they like uh, they find those like islands with like tiny tiny like pockets of people that are still like uncivilized. Yeah. What primitive like primitive yes. people? I mean, yeah. They. I, America's big enough that you could probably find some like un- undisturbed patches of you could have that <laughs> could have been an authentic Native American. You think it was last of the Mohicans? Yeah, it might have been the <laughs> last Mohican. Maybe. Or you could have just been like, fuck it, I'm going back to this. That'd be a cool it'd be a cool excuse for just hucking a spear through someone's heart. It's yeah. like sorry, dude, I'm from an ancient civilization. All this, <laughs> whoa, what is what is all this? What is that? Oh dude, my god. What if he's the one that, that speared you while you were running naked? <laughs> True. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I want to get naked in the. I want to get in the woods and get naked a lot more than I do. Do both of those things. That's my plan for vacation. I'm trying Don't to jet ski naked, dude. I, if I, I could, you know, there's all this elaborate stuff to feel better. If I get like just sun on my body for like two hours a day, I feel fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's, it's. I mean, I'm secure. a little tuckered out right now because I had too much sun and heat. Mm-hmm. But dude, it's. You could drink enough water to kill you. True. You know what I'm saying? True that. I almost did that before. Few things <laughs> beat having. A decent amount of sunburn and having the air conditioning hit your skin when you got that sunburn. So, dude, that's what I have right Man. now. Yeah. So I feel right now I have a very mild, very easy and nice sunburn, and that just feels great. I've I, I've I've been increasing my sunburn tolerance year over year. Same. My first sunburn this year was pretty horrific, and I just it felt so good. Oh. It was it was almost orgasmic. <laughs> dude, my my entire shoulder ridge was completely crispy. Is that where you like it the most? 
Yeah. I like it around the collarbone. Yeah. Like this part right here. Oh, oh man. Oh, dude. Yeah. And then, like, uh, wearing, like, a school uniform shirt on it. Oh, my God, dude. I could get hard right now. Dude, I'm going to pay a dominatrix to take me to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and just put, like, a sp- like, just patches of sunscreen yeah, on I'm it. Gonna, I'm going <laughs> to keep just letting my wife apply sunscreen to me. Yeah. Like you said, yeah. <laughs> I missed a sp- So you missed yeah. my whole lower back. <laughs> Oh yeah, so while the stoner moms were out cucking us, I got I got a look from the ma- the hot male lady. I don't want to say hot; she's a normal looking woman male. Lady. Oh. She's wearing a uniform. I'm a big uniform man. Did she have on one of those safari hats? Yeah, and oh. we've never spoken yeah. before. She's like a, a younger ish like Latina. She oh. could just sense the cat was away. Well, I she wasn't away yet. That, was she away yet? I don't know if she was away yet. But I was I was out mowing I was out mowing the lawn and just. When I'm mowing the lawn in my set, I, like, I know it says, like, I know it sounds obvious. You, you throw your bathing suit on, you rip your shirt off. Obviously. I also don't take my shirt off when I'm mowing. I rip it in half every <laughs> single time. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just flexing the triceps, pushing the mower. True. You gotta, do, you have a, do you have to push yours yourself or do you have, like, the little... You got to push it. Oh, dude. So you're, that's all try. Dude, it's all try. It's all try. And then I'm, like, hunkering down a little bit, get some lat in there. You know what I mean? You're just flexing over your lawnmower. Dude. I, hey, Mary, jo, Mary Jo will watch me from the kitchen window and just, like, make a puddle. Yeah, while I'm mowing, so I'm I'm crushing the lawn, and uh, the mail lady leaves uh, the mail in the mailbox. And when she, I've never spoken to her before, and there was no reason that she like turned from like she was walking back to her truck and turned ninety degrees to come over to me. She was like, "There's a uh, I, uh, there's a package in your mailbox. Just letting you know." I was like, "Oh, cool, thanks." She was probably out of her Thank body, you. dude. She didn't know what she was doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tony, dude. She got two cans Sam <laughs> on some pheromones. Yeah, Damn, she saw, she saw the lawn, saw you taking care of business, and was just like, "Yeah, yeah, this is the thing." Oh, Jesus, all my set up. Matt get saw it. the last of the Mohicans, and you saw the last of the Puerto Ricans, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a package in your mailbox. It was just it was just no big deal. I just let you know. Yeah, instantly. I was like, "Cool, thank you." Thank reported you. Reported it to your wife immediately. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, I told Mary Jo as soon as she got home. She's like, "I'm, I'm going to kill the mailman. I'm going to kill the mail lady the next time I see her." Hey, man, it's not her fault. <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing dude it kills women they see you out handling the house just like yeah. clearing the land out i think that's my that's my advice for like dudes that have a hard time like getting late like incel dudes just act like you're married that's the one true, true way to get women interested in you yeah it's true yeah women love just smiting other women and ruining their lives yeah how much do you think female attention toward each of you has increased since you've been uh, with your significant others? I don't know. I don't really. I kind of make a point to like autistically interact with all women I meet, so as to not like be weird. Mm-hmm. I would actually. I was like thinking about that. Don't, dude, that only makes you more maybe like less off-putting. Perhaps like, yeah, the, you're fact, the fact that you don't you have do. that like that like false start. Like, hey, um, uh, what are we? Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. The fact that you don't have that. Which is a good thing. That's how you should treat away. people. I just want to get away from them. Immediately. Yeah. I kind of want to castrate myself. That's why male ladies. <laughs> that's why. Ma- <laughs> if I could honestly. That's the ultimate. That's the I, ultimate way to get pussies. Dude, if I could, treat yourself. If, <laughs> if I could completely eliminate my sex drive, I would do it right now. <laughs> I would just get rid of it. Yeah, I have a and package for you. Could you just leave it by the front doorstep? I've recently, recently been castrated. <laughs> dude, chicks Man, that was love, hard to say. You got through it. Man. Chicks would love that, dude. Feel like I, chemi- well, I might get chemically castrated. Yeah, you can take it like, like with pedophiles. You take like a cocktail. Yeah. you don't take it off, but you, they like drug you into oblivion to where like yeah. you're just like, and your dick just doesn't work ever again. So, really? Yeah, I might. I might. That's kick. what. That's how it works. It's not like they. They. I thought the chemical like burnt something that made your dick hard. Maybe. You think that they I just like get it better you than so they just get you, you bent. Get... Yeah, I thought they just get you twisted. <laughs> or it's like a thing that just shuts down like your sex drive. They mix it in with Long Island iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> you have to drink four whiskeys every day. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, man, that's Yeah, my sex drive I've I've been sublimating my sex drive big. They're putting time, fentanyl man. in the chemical castrations now, man. You gotta watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Do they really like shoot your bird with a fucking I, I gotta be honest? Bird? Well, I mean, there's no reason not to just assume everything. So, yeah, they, they insert a green chemical that singes whatever makes your bird hard. That's how I imagined it. Kermit the Hog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to look this up. I got a box by my front door with that load enhancer that you recommended. Oh, oh the Ashkawanda gonna... or whatever? Yeah, yeah. You're doing load enhancer? Dude. Yeah. Ash, Ashkawanda, I think, is the active ingredient. Okay. Or it says with or plush ash, well, ashwagandha or ashgawanda. Where's it from? Where's ashgawanda from? Probably South America. 
Right. I was thinking either South America or India. It was also the name of the kid I beat in the spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> Shout yeah, out, Ashkawanda. Every country has, like, an herbal, like, libido Boner, increaser. Yeah. They always, if you go to, like, the Dominican Republic, Mexico, they're always like, take this. They, like, they sell it. And they're like, this will get you hard as fuck. Yeah. All around the world, there's just people trying to get hard. There's, uh... Yo, Himbe is an African one. There's Maca. That's a Central American yeah. one. Dude, you recommended Maca's that to me there. about Maca probably rules, like dude. six or seven years ago. We were backstage at Helium, yep. and you were like, dude, you got to try it. And, dude, I would bring it to work with me every morning, and I would mix up my Maca. Yeah. And a lady asked me, she's like, uh, she's like, what are, you, what are you mixing, cocoa? I was like, nope. It's Maca, <laughs> babe. Yeah, they look it up, and they're just like, It's boner fuck, Gatorade. Fuck. Oh, also this? Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just taking a little bit of an organic supplement to make my boner super hard and my cum very <laughs> voluminous uh, for my extremely stable marriage. It's not really anything. <laughs> She's like, oh, oh my God. Yeah, basically, I just want my cum to burst out of She's, my dick like an dude, ATF agent. She's like <laughs> inching into the corner of your desk. Like, oh, that's cool, man. That's interesting. <laughs> just like a little humping the corner. <laughs> oh. yeah, She's hairdresser humping the corner of your desk. <laughs> yeah, to answer your question, I, I don't... Uh, I don't know. I don't really. I'm not out like that. But I feel like during during my first marriage, I feel like I remember getting like being like, "Well, this is weird." Like women would be. That's when I. That's when I started to appreciate the more devious nature of women. Because you're just dating. You're just dating. But once you have like a life and a thing going on, you're like, "Damn, this lady would totally interrupt this." Mm. You're like, "Oh fuck. yeah, you're not talking about your wife. You're talking about the other." No, no, I'm talking about yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, talking, yeah I'm like, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, damn. Yeah. Like, so I had gotten a couple like proposals like that of like, damn, this lady would like completely fucking insert herself into my life in a disastrous way they're yeah. out there yeah that's they are that's what they do oh there's a, cra- a crazy high rate of mental illness among women so it's like <laughs> <laughs> they do they do tend to have yeah they do tend to have more i call that guy polar too well it's like when uh <laughs> guy they're just guy crazy when, when dudes don't get checked they like beat people up at bars and when women don't get checked they like crush civilization socially yeah <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they they undermine like what it means to like be a person, in yeah. as large of a group as they have access to. Yeah, it's it's what's the fuck? It's called um, it's not pass not passive aggression. It's called uh relational it's aggre- stuff. relational aggression. It's it's dunking on an eight foot rim. Like instead of like coming up and like being like fuck you, dude, they'll just like slowly talk to everyone in your personal network and like make the turn them against you. Mm-hmm. It's way more disastrous. Or like they, like won't invite it's you. A, somewhere. Dude, it's a slower it's a slower move, but it's. A million times more powerful than what men are capable oh, of. Oh, yeah. It, it'll be like they'll stage a whole event and then purpose just so they can not invite you to it. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Oh, dude, they'll build up entire like friend groups around just like excluding someone. Yeah. And and make sure you find out that like they'll make a post about it just so you know. And then just be like, oh, that's great. All I think right. men and women are both set up to destroy men. Like men can only destroy themselves. True. I guess they can destroy other people too. You can destroy right? a woman pretty hard. Not yeah. us, dude. I mean, we're making plans to jerk off together and watch movies. Yeah, yeah it's wholesome stuff. <laughs> I always think about that, but then there there are the dudes who like will have a, like a a wife or a girlfriend, like forbid them from having a cell phone, mm. make them work, take all their money. Those dudes are out there. Mm-hmm. They're kicking around. Kings. King, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they are kings. Kings, dude. <laughs> it's like I know you're fucking cheap. I know you fucking want that guy. You fucking whore. And yeah, what was that? Me. Like, like, like a yeah. they they see like a glance that lasts too long. Like, what was that? <laughs> yeah. What do you think? She's hot. What the fuck, dude? I know you're fucking cheating on me. Let, Let me see, see your that. fucking phone. <laughs> we all have that in us, but I should start demanding my wife's phone. You should. What would you do if you got and there was like six hundred minion memes? We're together like twenty three <laughs> and a half hours a day. It would be just very, talking shit about <laughs> nurses. <laughs> yeah. It would be very oh. funny for me to just get very distrustful of my wife. We are. I'm not kidding. We are like a penguin couple. Yeah, it would be funny to find that she was having, like, steamy conversations with people. Like, dude, what are you doing? Like, she's cheating with, on me, like, through words with friends. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck is this, dude? Why dude, would you spell that? I, uh, I feel like I know a lady who would, only, who would cheat through a game like that. I, dude, I... She'd be like, I, talk to me on this game, and then that's how she would set up her affairs. I caught a, I caught a lady cheating on her husband through Club Penguin. <laughs> that's you, the one who told me that. You're the one who told me that. Okay, that's... Yeah. Because I did go on an online date one so time with a lady, and I had to talk to her on this game, and then we hung out, and she revealed to me later she was married, and I was like, oh, shit. But the... It was a long time ago. <laughs> Matt, Matt was swiping right on Club Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the one who told me that. They're, the guy, yeah. had, they had an affair. That's what it was. Yeah. Very steamy conversations that were showing up in, like, word bubbles above cartoon penguins. 
<laughs> but she's sending him like pictures of penguin pussy. Dude, she fucking sucked, man. She was one of those like office worker ladies who like got the job in the eighties <laughs> and never updated her hairstyle. So mm, she had that like nice. poodle frizz hair. Mm. And uh yeah, threw her whole life away. Damn. Yeah, having a dude, did you hear about the guy from uh Northern Ireland, the health minister? What'd he do? He got fired. He he was on camera. Someone installed a camera in his office, ah. caught him on camera, kissing someone he worked with. Both of these people Santa had Claus? three kids. No, it was a lady. The Blarney Stone? A hot lady. He was kissing a lady and grab it, squeezing her butt for like two and a half minutes on camera. Wow. That just dog. fully like, just making out and being like, Damn. standing in it. And he, his back was to the door. So if anyone walked in, they, it wouldn't have... <laughs> Like, oh, sorry. I was just standing. Yeah, I was. I was actually just walking out when you opened the door. I wasn't. But he was the health minister of Ireland, and they were. Or He's Northern probably just Ireland. checking her butt cheeks for something. Yeah. Well, apparently they dug into it. That was his personal so friend, he. true. And he had hired her, gave her a job. That's so good he one. put. He gave his mistress a job, uh, and brought her man. into his office, so he could just during work like, all right, see you, babe, and go to work and just squeeze butt oh, and make dude, out. Yeah. So all the lawyers in Philly do this too. I knew. I I knew a lawyer in Philly. <laughs> Who okay? True. So this guy's this guy's office was like a penthouse, like a, a top floor in a, a a high rise building. This was his office, right? He had an apart his his condo or whatever a penthouse in Philly. He had another apartment that wasn't a penthouse, but it was pretty high up in Rittenhouse. And him and this like sixty five year old secretary have been having an affair since like the seventies in this apartment. And like so, I was in like what, what you would assume. By the elevator ride and the decor of the rest of the building that you were walking into, like, Tony Stark's apartment. But it was all, like, 70s furniture. Like, old-timey, like, oven and shit like that. And he was just banging is, some old lady been, all over. Yeah, this, like, 80-year-old dude's had a smash pad with a secretary since the 70s. Jesus Christ, man. Get a flashlight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do something, man. That's fucking nuts. So yeah. He, how'd you know this? I went there. And you knew I went there up. to fix a computer and one you time. knew what was up. Instantly. Did they have a Commodore 64 dude, that you had to fix? We would go to, like, lawyers' houses. <laughs> <laughs> they are devious, dude. They can be. They can be. Who, lawyers? They can be. Lowest people on earth. Well, one of my boys. Objection. One, one of my boys is uh, he's, he's a good dude. Did he go to lawyer school for more than six weeks? Uh, I think so. Sorry, I mean, man. I got <laughs> bad news for you. He's dudes. my bro. He, he's a man. Keep an eye on him. But he's a different He's a different type of law. Dude, there's another guy. There's a lawyer in Philly who has his face on billboards all the way up and down 95. He hired, like, a young Asian lady and then, like, kicked his wife out pretty soon after to fuck this lady. Is it Rand Spear? No. Okay. Along the same lines, though. Actually, I don't know. He doesn't have any, like, TV commercials. He might have TV commercials. I, you'll I see. I want to try to retain Joe the Jeweler next time we have a traffic <laughs> ticket. Dude, can you show up in court and just flash fucking jewels? <laughs> Am I allowed to say this stuff? What? You like can say it. The people you might be held in contempt. Most people, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, the lawyers are pretty tough. My boy who does it does um, mostly like podcast state, law, state stuff. <laughs> he does not state. When people die, it's like, all right, here's how we'll do it. And he's helped us with like, we've had like insurance companies fuck us. Mm-hmm. You call these guys up and they're like, they just write a letter to your insurance company. They're like, sorry about that. Here's thousands of dollars. Oh, they rule. They go, they, they go hard in the paint on insurance companies. It's pretty sick. Damn. But I also know a couple other ones that are pretty, I actually, just like you're describing, I know a couple other ones who are, the most vice ridden men I've Little, ever met. Little, uh, I met a, <laughs> the most vice ridden men I've ever met. I met a, I, there was one lawyer that I met that was good. This isn't as exciting or fun, but I met one lawyer in my 11 years of IT consulting for them. I met one lawyer who might have been one of the best dudes. He was just a regular best dude, and uh, he had a cappuccino machine. He was a Lincoln lawyer. <laughs> Is that, he was a good guy? Yeah. Yeah, this guy was Very a good, good guy. guy. This guy, uh, he worked for like the State Department or something like that. And uh, it was funny because he was such like a nice and gentle guy. And someone told me that his reputation in the State Department was like they called him Mad Dog just because of the Ooh. way he would like pressure people and pursue them. Damn. Yeah. And then I met him when he was doing uh, like medical malpractice. And he turned into good boy. Dude, he was the fucking man. Every time I went there, he would spend 15 minutes making me a cappuccino. Oh. And then he would ask how my family was. One of his one of his partners was a judge in Montgomery County. He married me and Mary Jo. What? Wow. Yeah. I did. We weren't going to have a wedding. Mm-hmm. And City Hall was like a pain in the ass, so I went down to their office, and they, they he put on his judge robe, and he married us in the office. Oh, that's it's sweet. Pretty, pretty fucking cool, yeah. right? It's pretty So sad. those two guys out of maybe a thousand. You used to go strictly cool. to law, yeah, to lawyers and do their stuff. Yeah, we had other kinds, but it was just we specialized, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, they can be brutal. Just shit tough. people, dude. Just shit people in, like, oversized suits in just crumbling offices, fucking each other over. 
Like I got to witness like their 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 social networks and shit like that. Their offline social networks, obviously, and uh, and just again, dude, it, it takes just as much schooling, I guess. But legal secretary, fat ladies, scum of the earth. What if there was an really? influx of Wigger lawyers? Like if they could dude, go through a six week program, that'd be pretty nasty. From your lips to God's ears, man. <laughs> you can always tell whenever you're in like like traffic court or you go to like some sort of like menial kind of court. You know exactly who the lawyer. You look at a lawyer every single time. Like that guy's a lawyer. They had this mm-hmm. like weird glow and those like court situation. They, they yeah. look so comfortable in there. You're like ah. Always some kind of weird hand jewelry. Slick back, yeah. Super slick back. <laughs> yeah, no, them. they can be tough. I'll tell you what. You've crushed lawyers and nurses in this episode. What is one profession do you think shines above all the rest? Like what's good above all the rest, or the worst above the above best? The best. The huh. opposite end of the spectrum. I would say dog trainers. <laughs> <laughs> dog trainers are a mixed bag. <laughs> True, well, they can go. Dog you say trainers. they're a mixed breed. Yeah. <laughs> Sex workers are the, possibly the worst. I have, I do not stand in solidarity with sex workers. Oh man, I, they're fine. I don't know. I don't. Really Who do you think is the best, Matt? The best. Well, you've already named dog dog trainers. Oh, I not the best. I, I take that back. I hate them. They're scum. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a definitive answer, and what? I think you're gonna like it. Go ahead. Did you have one? Not yet. Uh, black lady concession stand workers. Oh man, it's pretty good. Yeah. Black yeah. ladies in front of a register take on the spirit of what priests should become when they put on the vestments. True. Yeah, it, it gets kind of hazy in like fast food. But like, if you go to the zoo and there's a black lady cashier or a black lady working in a concession stand, that's the most care you'll feel that day. If a black lady concession stand gives you a compliment, like she might as well just give you wings instead of your change back. That was how I learned how to dance. We're talking so to a black, black, a black lady, concession lady like being nice to me at a concession stand, I felt the need to move my body. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I know about. They should remake Dirty Dancing with that as the premise. Yeah, I'm thinking about like yeah, when you get black ladies who do like the cash register in a hospital cafeteria. Oh my they're god, yeah. Pretty fucking awesome usually. Yeah. they uh, nice. the doctors could not keep up with them. No. And the nurses it makes them more bitter. Doctors have psycho energy, man. When you meet doc when like every time I've seen doctors in hospitals, I'm usually like that's what they should have done during the during the pandemic is instead of like bringing on all these nurses, just have like a bunch of black ladies with portable cash registers just floating around the office uh, making people better. True. I met a huh. before I did lawyer IT work. I worked in a doctor's office, and there was two cardiologists that worked there. One of them was the biggest dork I've ever met in my entire life. The other one might have been the cool. He was too cool. The other doctor was too cool. Found out there were some affairs in the past. Yeah, he's I, a Doogie Howser, dude. I was like eighteen, nineteen. I was like, damn, damn dude. So would it be How fair to say that's one that? broken heart he couldn't fix? Wow. <laughs> How are you finding out? Uh. Fuck. Club Penguin. His wife would work in the office sometimes, and she was cool, too. They were like an eccentric old Jewish family. Not old. They were an eccentric, like, middle-aged Jewish family. Yeah. And uh, I think I was just talking to someone. I was like, dude, Ken rules. And they were just like, just so you know, dude, he got caught fucking around with a nurse. It was the nurse. It was the nurse's fault. Unreal, I would dude. say so. She probably, they, a lot of times. Everything. Everything gets wrapped up right it here. It happens, man. Because a lot of times nurses, when they see doctors, will moon them. They'll pull their scrubs down and be like, come on. Come on, doctors. <laughs> like, no, I don't want to. But every now and again, they just trap That's a nurse's hello. That's <laughs> why they're always leaning on the nurse's station counter. Yeah. They're just presenting. You know, I'm telling you, the nurses will just come trap doctors every now and then. They'll, they'll pull your pants and moon you and just pin you. And you're like, no. Matt, it's funny you mention that because one thing that I have seen a lot more of in recent months on Reddit porn is nurses just sneaking off into the bathroom to either take their scrubs down to show some butt or lift their scrubs up to show some titty. Yeah, man, I'm telling you. Those might just be setups, though. I don't think so. These nurses, look like nurses, dude. yeah. No, they do. that's all they do on the night shift. These are bad lady so that's nurses. What, you're in the hospital. Where the fuck's the nurse at? She's just like... <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what these fat retards are doing when I took Mary Jo to Nazareth, dude. <laughs> yeah, they were in the back. They're probably trying... Would you please take my wife's temperature and stop staring at your own pussy? <laughs> you fat bitch. They grow Be their right nurse... there, no, they, hon. <laughs> they grow their nurse butts so that doctors <laughs> can't get around them and they just fucking... They trap them. One of their kids gets like a fifteen hundred on the SATs, and they're like, yeah. well, the, <laughs> "The EMTs drop you off, and then they have to go." Excuse me, ma. Excuse me, ma. <laughs> to get around the nurses. <laughs> excuse me, ma. Yeah, the last semester of nurse school is just making them do squats for three months. <laughs> just fucking <laughs> eating chips and staring at a computer. <laughs> yeah, they can get some attitude. You guys ready to switch over to Patreon? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, oh, let's I want to tell you all about my murder trip. 
Oh my god, dude. Yeah, well, I'm going to do it on the Patreon. I oh, think it's yeah. perfect that we saved it for It's Patreon. perfect. I'm so, glad I monopolized our time. <laughs> no, it was perfect. Everything unfolded as the way it should. Hell yeah. We shit talk nurses and lawyers, and we ensure that your wife is okay. Perfect episode. Wow. Yeah, it is. We did it. it. Finally. Beautiful. We could end the podcast here. Yeah, let's go I'm, I'm, a, I'm good with that. Yeah, if you guys aren't uh, a member of the Dad Me Patreon, go over to patreon.com slash Podcast. Pay whatever the fuck you want. Uh, come have fun with us. We're going to take like a five-minute break, and then we're going to go over there. I'm going to tell these guys all about my murder trip this past weekend. Nice. Thank you, man. Del Calo was on fire. Can't wait to hear about that. He too. interrogated somebody. I actually, I haven't, yep. heard, I haven't heard a single detail about the murder trip yet, and I've... I was that was the thing I was looking forward to most on Sunday. Yeah, man. Closer to the truth than ever. Fucking let's go. Dubs, right. take us off the air. See Love you guys in a few minutes. Hell yeah. Oh, and Jake's album. Fuck. What? Oh.